Hey guys, welcome back for more CCLP1 in Lynx mode. We're on communism of this set, which is communist. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Each tank button can only be pressed once. Now I've actually played this level before. Oh shit. Yeah, I played this level before. In um, Big Auto Returns, so I already know this is Trevor's le uh, Trevor's level. So, yeah, well I actually have quite a bit of things to talk about. And someone's calling me, but I left my phone in the other room because I had a feeling someone was going to call me. So, yeah. Anyway, the things we need to talk about. One, is So I released Josh L5 and everyone knows that already. And people are lacking to tell me like okay, so people are, are telling me some problems with some of the levels of the set. Which I I expected a couple. I didn't expect it to be straight out perfect. And and it's all fine it's all fine and everything. But what some what people are lacking of doing when telling me problems is they're not being specific with the problems that are in the set. Meaning that no one is Basically, everyone's just making it a freaking game when telling me a problem with a level. Like, they tell me as little information as possible to where I can't even fix the level because I don't know what to do to fix it because there's just not enough information to do it. And it it makes me mad because I don't know what to fix. You know, I mean, you tell me, oh, so you t you give me some coordinates, you tell me that this is extra or something, and that's it. You don't give like a suggested fix, or you don't tell me like you don't you hardly give me any information. So it's hard to fix something when I don't really know what to fix. And I've presented this problem at least three times, and Zane has backed me up on it as well, which I appreciate, by the way. And it makes no sense. So I mean, if you guys if you guys are playing my levels, and there's a problem with one of them. Be specific and tell me. I've even had someone send me a TWS file telling me or 
it, it, and tell me to watch it for myself, which I refuse to do that because the TWS files I download don't work. And I, I set them up right and everything to where I can't, I'm able to watch them, but they never, I, it says like error, it gives me some error message saying I, it's unviewable. So, just tell me the problems. Don't give me a bunch of, okay, well, this is a sudden cut and shits, but I got interrupted by like, four different things for like an hour because people and country life sucks thanks to Campo and your fucking liquor stores but uh, whatever I said earlier um, yeah that I'm done with that rant okay blobs on a plane featuring blobs and the level being timed And I want to say this level does have a Melinda time, but I'm, I don't think a Melinda times have been established yet for this set. And considering, holy, holy shit! I, I was about to say, considering. Like how blobs move and move and everything. I'm surprised I'm not dying. But let's just go up here and take care of this crap. Before it gets too fucking chaotic. Fucking stupid blob. Oh shit. Ah, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, I don't like how blobs move in links. God damn it. Okay. Holy shit, okay, I'm surprised I managed to pull that off. Okay. Fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Okay, now where the hell is the socket? Up there. Oh, come on. Really? Now freaking die, you. You fuckers. Alright, so I think we're pretty much safe. I think so. Well, I thought so, but... There we go. Blobs on the Plane's done, made by Tom Patton. Runaway train. Reach the locomotive to unlock the emergency exit and escape the train. Featuring more annoying constant clicking. 
and me being stupid. Fun fact of the day, I died. That was the fun fact I was talking about. This level, which people probably already know this, but this level was the highest rated level in the voting. And the sad part is, I kind of figured it was going to be a Tom level. That would be the highest rated level in the voting. Because, you know, Tom's like the creator of CC Zone and all that shit. Man, I, re I really wish I didn't get freaking. I really wish I didn't get freaking. Why can't I can't think of the word? Interrupted. Yeah, that's the word. And I really wish I didn't get interrupted because I had like. I had a lot of shit to talk about and now I can't think of what else I was going to mention. Oh wait, I had to press that pause button. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty crazy train. Alright, that takes care of that. Now let's get the fuck off this train. I love the way this level is just it's laid out. I and apparently a lot of other people do too. And that is Runaway Train, made by Tom Patton, which I probably already mentioned that. The Sewers. Featuring another level I've already played, so. Yes. Yeah, I played this level in TSO, so I pretty much know how to solve it. No surprises here. Man, what the fuck was I gonna talk about? See, this is what I freaking hate. Like, okay. Like, I used to live with some roommates, and then some shit happened, and now I don't live with them anymore. So I moved back home, and the place I live at now, and god damn it, that was a chipster moment fail. The house I live at now, it's... Really? That's the cook of the year right there. Except I've seen better ones, so... Anyway, I live, I live right next door to my grandparents. And... 
because of that, there's always a high chance that one of them is going to come over for no reason at all. And just say, oh, hi, how's it going? And stuff like that. Which is fine when I'm not recording, but when I am, I'd rather you not. So that's what happened. My grandma came over, and for no reason, and then right after she left, my friend called me and talked to me for 40 minutes. Resulting in me forgetting what I was what I was talking about. That's whatever. I'll I'll remember it eventually. But this video is all like all weird now because of how I was talking earlier and now all of a sudden I'm just like oh Anyway, the sewers, best level ever. Except that's false. And now there's some people that live behind me that are apparently having a party. That's always fun. And that is the sewers. Let's just keep going. Mellow Harbor. Now this is the best level ever. Except I just totally fucked that up. Now this level was apparently, I remember this from the C when CCLP1 was being discussed. This level was blacklisted originally for I don't know what reason, apparently the staff thought this level was too difficult for CCLP1. Which isn't true. And what's it called? It was blacklisted, got nominated, and it became the 18th highest ranked level of the voting. Yeah, take that staff. Now, I don't exactly remember how to. I don't exactly remember how this works. This is probably the part that they were talking about. I don't remember this part. I played this level many times and this part always stumps me. I want to say you just go straight down. That, that's my I'm guessing right now so I, I don't know. And it looks like it's not, it's not the case. Because I only have two blocks left and I still have a ways to get there, so. Yeah. 
Okay. This level actually inspired a level that I recently made, which is called um, Everything That Drowns Me. And then I just now realized what to do, so fail. <sighs> so I've officially given up on what I was talking about earlier, so obviously it wasn't that big of an issue. Now, for some reason, I have like absolutely nothing to talk about, which is hilarious. I don't understand myself anymore. I give up on life. I'm deleting life.mp3, so. Yeah. Which I think I, I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again just in case I didn't. But that's the best album ever. I remember I, I the one time I did mention it, or I remember one time I did mention it. I mistaked it for a song, which is a fail. Okay, now this is like the a good part of the level. Yeah, I completely worded that wrong. Probably the best part of this whole level. And thanks to my stupid knowledge, I know this level's title was based off a of Sonic level. Yeah, I, I like how, like, the way the exit path is formed, it looks like you're supposed to get suction boots to go to the exit, but in reality, you just bridge to it, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, by Tyler Sontag. And, uh, what the fuck, one more, I guess. Ahoy there, Chip. Check the upper and lower decks of the gallon. Galleon for treasure. Oh, and watch out for pirates. It's a chip plank galleon. Which I think was... 
think this was part of a competition. I think this was originally a competition level for some CC zone competition. I, I don't know. Alright, this is the lower part. I won't release that chip, so... Holy shit, did you see how fast that teeth fucker came out? Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous how the teeth moves in this freaking rule set. Ridiculous. And then you go up there. And that teeth monster is, uh, look at that. I wish there was some explanation to why they move like that in this rule set. But there's not, so. Missing two chips. There's one right there. And there's one right there. Fuck. Gotta go all the way around to get it. God damn it. And now I gotta go all the way. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna take that freaking risk. Go all the way around to go to the exit. This is fun. Yeah, so I think this is gonna wrap up this video because I completely failed not with the levels, well not with all of them, but I completely failed with my commentary so that was just like a total brain fart episode but whatever so take on Jeepers Creepers which is obviously not a re movie reference whatsoever or a movie title whatsoever. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully I don't fuck up my commentary.